calendar. And Orchid here will help us show you some of their physical characteristics. which helps stabilize them as they swim and helps regulate their body temperature. The flippers on either side of the whale's body are called pectoral flippers and are primarily used for steering and stopping. The pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside of them, just like the human hands. <laughs> The lobes on either side of the tail are called flutes and are the killer whale's engine, propelling them to speed as fast as 30 miles per hour, which can be as fast as some of our speedboats. And our whales swing the fastest and use the most power when they're propelling the nearly 10,000 pound bodies up Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. Whistles to socialize in the pod. And calls for group coordination and hunting. studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like all animals, killer whales use body language as a form of communication. They'll use pectoral saps to show dominance or to even get noticed. For example, a mother may use pectoral sap to get her calf's attention.
rock. together to rear their young, protect their pod, and most importantly, pursue and catch their prey. Every day they cooperate to survive in the wild oceans of the world. The orca's hunting techniques are as varied as the whales themselves. Norwegian killer whales will circle hairy, herding them together. The whales use sounds to coordinate with each other and to disorient the herring. With the fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together. 
making them a highly successful predator. everyday life for a killer whale. It's how they teach their young whales how to hunt and practice their skills as they grow. You'll see killer whales in the wild showing their interactive and playful style. You see it here and here all the time. Porpoising is when a killer whale swims fast at the surface, breaking out of the water just briefly.
Korea. She has been able to participate in multiple research projects that have helped her wild counterparts. Here at SeaWorld, we encourage our whales every day to learn something new, to engage and stimulate their minds. Diet, exercise, and of course, play help keep these whales in great shape. Here at SeaWorld, have helped killer whales in the wild by participating in many research studies. One primary study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutrition and reproduction. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. What we learn from the whales in our care every day is actively helping whales in the wild survive. And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.